Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. Today I've got a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to do a PC case fan replacement or install on this Corsair 4000D Airflow PC case. Now this PC case only came with one 120 millimeter fan here at the front, and we're gonna be replacing it with this triple fan setup from LTC, it's model CF. 121D, it's got ARGB lighting, and it's all daisy chained together. So there's only one connector for the ARGB, it's a five volt three pin, and one connector for the power, which is a four pin PWM. So it should be a really easy install. Now, of course, if you're interested in any of these components, they are all linked below in the description, but let's go ahead and dive right into this PC case fan replacement. So first things first, let's go ahead and assemble our LTC triple fan setup here. So grab one of the fans on the bottom, you're gonna see these knobs and then some connectors. And the bottom of this fan will match up with the top of this fan. There's the corresponding connectors here. So we'll line up those knobs into the holes like that. And then we just slide it sideways across like that and they'll hold together. And then the same thing with this one, just make sure they're all in the correct direction. Once they're together, the fan unit will hold together just like that. And then we'll grab the harness and that just goes on the bottom in the same way. Line up the holes and then slide it down like that. And your fan setup is all together. Jumping over to our PC case, we're gonna make sure that our power supply is off and unplugged so we don't wreck any of the components in our computer. So let's go ahead and remove both the side panels on our PC. And to do that, there's some thumb screws here at the top and two at the bottom as well. We'll start out with the glass side here. I'll take out the top one and the bottom one. And then my side panel just pulls out and off just like that. And I'll do the same for the back side as well. So the top here and the bottom. And then this one comes off in the same way, just like that. So turning the PC case around, removing the front cover here is easy on this Corsair 4000D, it just pops off like that, it snaps into place. And then you'll also find this dust screen back here. Just give it a little push from the back side, and it should come out just like that, revealing all our screws for mounting our fans. So next let's remove the wiring from this existing fan that's here. And I can see it goes through the back here, here down and through and underneath. So you wanna follow that wire and unplug it from your motherboard. So there's the connector there. We'll go ahead and unplug that from our motherboard very carefully. Now this is a three pin connector from the fan we're pulling out and we're putting in a four pin PWM case fan connector. And the good thing is I have four pins here, so that'll work perfectly to use the same connector. So you'll have to double check in your motherboard manual where the connectors are. They'll be different on every motherboard. The one I'm using here is an ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. So I fed the cable through so it's all loose and there's four Phillips head screws on this fan, one in each corner. So we'll go ahead and remove those so the fan comes loose. One, two, three, and four. And our fan is loose and out. And now we can go ahead and install our triple LTC case fans here. Now we need to make sure these are in the correct direction. So I want my cables here to be at the bottom and the air actually goes in from this side and out this side here where these supports are. So we want it to be mounted this direction in our case. So we're gonna slide it in here. You might need to do a little bit of wiggling to get it in there and make sure you're not squishing any of the cables. So we'll feed those through first. Roughly like that. So in the box, I got three packs of these short little screws and four screws for each fan. They just go in the corners here, just like we took out from the other fan. So one, two, three, four for each fan. So we're gonna put in 12 screws to hold this all in. Make sure it's all lined up and I'll start maybe up here in the corner. Opposite corner, make sure the whole thing lines up well. I find it easiest to get the four corners lined up first and then just put in the rest of the screws. There we go, they're all installed. Let's move on to the wiring. So again, those fans have the five volt three pin ARGB lighting connector, 
as well as the four pin PWM case fan connector. And I know those ports are on the bottom on my motherboard, but again, double check on your motherboard where those are before you feed them through. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed these through the bottom here and we'll make the connections on the other side. So I'll start out with the four pin PWM connector and I'll put that back on the lead where I removed the fan from before. Do keep in mind there's some little ridges on here and we wanna make sure it goes on in the correct direction. So I'll just slide that on like that. So I've got my five volt three pin ARGB lighting connector here and you can see there's three little ports on it. Now don't push it onto one with four pins. You wanna find the one with three pins. I've got two of them down here and these are the Aura addressable Gen 2 headers on my motherboard. So I'll go ahead and pick one of those and slide it on. And again, make sure it goes on in the correct direction so you don't bend any pins. So I'll get my wiring all cleaned up here and my back panel on and we'll fire this up so you can see what the ARGB lighting looks like. So I started out my computer and these LTC fans started up right away. They started spinning and the ARGB. Now I'm using ASUS Aura Sync to control them, um, but you can use Gigabyte RGB Fusion 2.0, MSI Mystic Light Sync, ASRock, Polychrome, RGB, depending on your motherboard to control them. But a lot more airflow coming through here, a lot better than the single fan I had before. And they look really cool as well. I can do different static modes, breathing modes, strobing, color cycle, and more. So it's a great upgrade to my system. So if this quick tutorial of replacing my Corsair case fan with the LTC 3-pack gave you value, if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on other tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.